hello guys once again welcome back to another android app development tutorial in this video here i am going to show you how to use view page or with the tab layout so we can start with the new android studio project here i name it as view page or with the tabs select an empty activity So here our Android Studio project is created. So by default every Android Studio project contain a default action bar. So we are going to remove the action bar. Instead of action bar we are going to use a toolbar. So the first step we need to remove the default action bar from this project. For that go to the resource folder, open values folder, open styles.xml. So here uh, you can remove the action bar by, uh, by make a simple change on the theme of the app. So here I change this one into theme.appcombat.light.no action bar. This will remove the default action bar from the app. So here you can see now the action bar is gone. So instead of action bar, we are going to use a toolbar. So now we, are, we can create the toolbar. So for creating a toolbar, here I am going to create a separate layout file inside the layout resource folder. I name it as toolbar layout. Uh, change the root element into toolbar Okay, now we can specify the needed attributes for the toolbar So here the width is much parent change height into action bar size Now we can specify the background specify the background as color primary now we can specify the id for the action bar and name it as action bar so it is not action bar it is toolbar now we can specify an elevation for the toolbar the recommended elevation for the toolbar is 4 dp Okay, now we can specify the theme so here I need a dark action bar so I use this theme so this is the toolbar for the app okay so now we can implement we can embed this <coughs> toolbar layout inside activity main.xml so here the current root element is a constrained layout I'm going to modify that one into a linear layout Okay, now we need to specify orientation for the layout. I need vertical orientation. Now this text view is not needed. Okay, so now we can implement the toolbar. So you can use this XML attribute called the include and specify the layout. Here the layout is toolbar layout okay now go to main activity so now we can specify some toolbar variable select toolbar from the support library now we can initialize that variable toolbar equal to find upy id or dot id uh, id is toolbar okay now set support action bar in the toolbar we can simply check so before proceed we can simply check the toolbar just run the project yeah here we have a toolbar available on this project okay so now we can start with the view pager so go to the activity main.xml so here is our toolbar so below that toolbar, here I'm going to specify the view page. Specify the width into match parent, height also match parent. Now we can specify an ID for the view pager. I simply name it as pager. So close all these files. So now I'm going to create a fragment 
that represent each page on the view pager so create a separate fragment select a blank fragment i name it as demo fragment uh, need no need of factory methods and interface okay here the fragment is created now in order to identify this fragment here i am going to place a text view on this fragment so here i place a text view on this fragment uh, with id text to display so we are going to display the fragment name using this text view okay so now we can implement some swipe view using the view pager for that we need some adapter for the view pager so now i'm going to create the adapter class for the view pager uh, view pager adapter and this class extends fragment pager adapter so here you need to implement some methods implement methods so here you need to implement these two methods get item and get count so there is no default constructor for this class so you need to override a constructor with the super keyword okay suppose here we need three pages that means we are going to implement three tab layout three tabs so here the item count is three now we need to uh, return each fragment object from this method so here our fragment name is demo fragment new demo fragment now we need to send some string to the fragment so first i'm going to update the variable position by position plus one this is because the variable position start from zero now we need to attach some bundle to the fragment object so create some object of bundle class new bundle now i'm going to attach some string resources to the bundle object so bundle dot string specify the message for the data here i name it as message now pass the data so here the data is fragment and specify the fragment number so we can simply use the position variable okay so now we can attach the bundle object to the fragment so demo fragment dot set arguments and pass the bundle and finally from this method we need to return fragment object so return demo fragment so this is the adapter for the view page now we can set the adapter on the view page also go to main activity so now we need to define variables for the view page so create variable for view page now we can initialize that variable so view page equal to find view by id r dot id dot here the variable name is pager so here now we can initialize the adapter so here this view pager adapter i name it as adapter now we can initialize that object so adapter equal to new view pager adapter and pass the support fragment manager so now we can set the adapter on the view pager to set adapter and pass the adapter that's it so now we successfully implement the swipe view using view pager so we can check that one run the project okay now the application available on this virtual device so now the swipe view is working fine we have three fragments okay now we can customize the message on the fragment so open the fragment again create some variables for text view i name it as text view so create some variables for view class so by using the view class object we can initialize the text view so text view equal to view dot find the view by id or dot id here it is txt display now we can get the message from the fragment and display the message using the text view so text view dot set the text uh, get the arguments first 
so get arguments to get string and pass the key for the message key for the data here it is message and finally you need to return the view object from this method return view okay now we can test it again yeah this is fragment 1 fragment 2 and fragment 3 okay so now we successfully place the view pager and the view pager contains swipe views okay so now i'm going to place a tab layout so first i close all these files now open the resource folder open layout open activity main so after the toolbar we can place the swipe layout sorry tab, tab layout so in order to place the tab layout you have to uh, you have to implement the design support library so open the gradle script file open module level gradle file and you need to add the <coughs> dependency for using the design library because the tab layout is the part of design design support library so here i change this one into design now sync the project Okay, now the project is finished successfully. Now we can implement the tab layout. So I'm going to implement, I'm going to place the tab layout. So here after the toolbar, I place the tab layout, specify the width as much parent, height into wrap content, here the ID is tabs, and specify the background into color primary, elevation is 4 dp, minimum height into action bar size, here specify the tab mode into fixed, tab gravity into fill, tab text color into white text and here is the selected tab color we use the color accent as the selected tab color so now we place a tab layout on the lay on the activity main.xml now we can configure the tab layout with the view pager so first we can create some variables for tab layout Okay, now we can initialize the tab layout. So tab layout equal to find to view by ID. Here it is tabs. Okay. So now we can configure the tab layout with the view pager. So you can simply call this method tab layout dot set with the view pager and pass your view pager object. It's very easy. Now we need to set the tab title. For that, you have to add some some more methods on the view pager adapter. So open the view pager adapter, and here you need to override one more method called uh, uh, get page title. So from this method, you can return title for each tab. Here also, I update the variable position into position plus one. So now we can return the title for each tab. So return the title is fragment now pass the position okay so now we successfully implement a tab layout with the view pager so now we can test the project so i run the project again so here we have a tab layout at the top when you swipe on the view pager you can see at the top the tab layout is changing tabs are changing also you can move to other fragment through the tab layout so this is how we implement tab layout with the view pager in your android application i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode